Welcome back to Wolfenstein, the Old Blood. We just failed to get the folder that we needed from Helga, and instead got stabbed in the hand and then this place blew up, which actually kind of saved us. We need to regroup with, uh, what is their name? Um, Kessler and Aneta. Gotta check up with them at the boathouse, see if they're okay, regroup, make a new plan, etc, etc. Before I leave this place though, we got some notes to read. Note from Helga, March 14th, 1946. So close now, I can taste blood in my mouth. What secrets must await me inside the vault? King Otto's secrets, my forebear, passing on the torch to me. A part of me believes the king is communicating with me from beyond. The whispers in the dark below. I think it's him. Side note. Expecting that dreadful parody of a man, Shriner, any day now. His letter said Death's Head has ordered him to oversee my project. <laughs> we'll see about that. We'll probably need to stock up on more wine to get me through that. This part's interesting. Part of me believes the king is communicating with me from beyond. The whispers in the dark below, I think it's him. So Helga's hearing whispers in the dark below. I don't think it's King Otto, but I hope I get to meet whatever it is that is making the whispers. I think there's another one somewhere in here. Helga's Diary, entry number 5, January 12th, 1946. Big discoveries today. Reminds me of when Father took me to the National Museum of History in Berlin for the first time. I told him it felt like I was touching history. How he smiled at me. The secrets of the past, he said, are waiting to be uncovered. One of our excavation teams has uncovered a mass grave while expanding the eastern part of the dig site. The grave contained the skeletal remains from at least 84 people, adults and children. It seems like the old church ruins, which the locals refer to as the defiled church, was the site of a mass slaughter a millennia ago. Yes, it must be so. All evidence we have found so far point to this. My theory is strengthened. As I've speculated before, King Otto himself commanded the church and surrounding village to be raised. He sent out a banner of knights to execute this task. This explains why we found some artifacts belonging to King Otto's knights as well. Also, Randolph managed to, after some enhanced interrogation, persuade the local priest to give us a letter written by King Otto that he had found in the home of the former priest. The same priest who was killed by one of my patients, Michael. It's written in Old High German, but the translation should come back to us soon. Now, why King Otto would order such a thing is an enigma that continues to elude me. Getting ever closer to the answer, though. Just need to dig a little deeper. Along with the letter, an ancient map was found, presumably of the underground complex we are looking for, beneath the floorboards in patient Michael's kitchen. It was drawn by one of King Otto's scholars. There were command words written on it. I will practice these words. It may be useful once we have found whatever it is waiting for us down below. Are they dazed or are they a zombie? They sound like a zombie! Is that a fucking zombie? Uh. Jesus Christ! How did we get to zombies already? <laughs> Holy shit, I was expecting that maybe when I went underground, but we're here already. Okay, cool. Shambler, model unlocked Shambler. Some of the Nazi soldiers who were killed in the disastrous earthquake came back from the dead with singular purpose to kill the living. Oh! 
Wow. That wasn't a shamble, that was a sprint. Okay, these are shambling. It looks like you can headshot Just him with a melee in. weapon. You read? Fucking gadgets. Oh. Whoa, look at this. Okay, so I think the... It was an earthquake, right? I think the earthquake... Unleashed some, I don't know, paranormal ghostly gas that's transforming people. I like Pippa. Oh, no. oh, right. You deserved a better fate than this, Pippa. Oh, shit. The Shamblers can shoot weapons? Shotgun's probably the ideal weapon against these. Well, the ones that don't have guns, that is. Zombie dog? Was this a zombie hellhound or was it just a burning dog? Okay, it's gotta be a flaming zombie dog. Listen, Helga's gone. Took the folder with her. She's digging up something beneath the church ruins. Must have been what caused this shitstorm. What's your location? I don't know. Some kind of workshop close to the old town.
Hello. <laughs> Better keep sawing. <laughs> Twelve gauge side by side, uh, break action sawed off shotgun. Extremely efficient when taking on enemies at close range. Yeah, this is such an interesting, an interestingly dramatic change in tone. I mean, this completely changes, uh, not just. The, well, not just the tone of the game, but also the feel of it, because now it's no longer a cover shooter anymore, at least for this part of it. I'm sure we'll go back to shooting other types of enemies at some point. I'm sure it won't just be this for the rest of the game, but yeah, for this section, it's not a cover shooter at all. There's really almost no point in taking cover. It's more a faster paced. It's interesting. Look at that. It's raining Nazis. Like the fucking world is ending. We got this gun. Oh, it's missing. Damn it. We have the sniper. We do. just keep coming. I mean, they're literally raining from the sky. Let's just go. Uh, question is, let's go where? I guess just swim? Annette is looking for her, her quote-unquote friend from the village. Oh, that is so gay. They're definitely lovers. I'm good. Uh, that door. Oh, that door's probably locked, but I can climb up there. Anything that way, though? Nope. Invisible wall.
Here we go. Now we've got both kinds of Nazis. Shit, I'm almost dead. Oh, was that my own grenade? I thought I threw it through the wall, but I mean through the window, uh, through the window, not the wall, not the window, the door. And also, um, I think there's zombies just kind of generally pouring into this place or are they turning into zombies after I kill them, so I have to kill them twice? I think that's what's happening. They're in trouble. Gotta find a way to get to them. Oh, I hadn't even seen that. You can actually see him. Okay, let's do better this time. Wait, what the hell? Where's this? This is a totally different place. I guess there's multiple pathways. Oh, interesting. The shock hammer, which is like a shotgun, um, actually uses different shotgun shells than the the double barrel. I expected them to use the same. Oh yeah, yeah, they're turning into zombies. Bike shop. Okay, what do I have as far as weapons? I was pretty much running out of ammo for the assault rifles. Yeah, not too much for that. Ah, this sort of shotgun is not good against living Nazis. Good against zombies, but living Nazis, nah. Uh, pretty limited with my ammo, really. Could blow up some more things with a comp pistol.
Oh no, not not the comp pistol, not here. You okay, Kessler? Annette has gone. She wanted to find her friend. Stuber wie ein Maultier, das Kind. I will take these flyers and cast them out over Berlin. Just like my wife did. Maybe it's like pissing in the ocean. But every drop spreads ripples across the water, no? If you choose to do nothing because you feel insignificant in the grand scheme of things, you might as well be an ant. And if I die, I know I will have deserved to meet her again. I'll come with you. No. Best if I go alone. You stop Helga. First, help me open a way through the blocked doorway. Kessler's definitely gonna die. Note from a Nazi officer. Carl, send this telegram to the dig site camp. To Eberhardt, I've repaired the Ladrobotter. <laughs> Even though it's a sturdy machine, beware of wear and tear when using it in the dig site tunnels. I've ordered spare parts and fuel from Castle Wolfenstein in case it breaks down again. You can pick up the repaired Ladrobotter by the Old Town Gates. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Article The Night of Fires Approaches, Wolfburg, March 1st, 1946. Preparations are underway in Wolfburg for the Night of Fires, the annual ceremony in remembrance of the fire which burned down the city a thousand years ago. This will be our most ambitious Night of Fires ever, said the happy mayor, when our reporter caught up with him overseeing the preparations in the town square. The city's most skilled woodworkers have been working around the clock to get everything done. A miniature wooden church representing the defiled church the important centerpiece of the ceremony, has been built and will be lit up just before midnight of the 3rd, to be followed by the traditional dousing of the flames. The church choir will this time be performing the cleansing fire song during the ceremony. Of course, what would a night of fires be without a big feast before the burning? Oh, this will be the biggest feast yet, and afterwards we will serve the traditional auto cake filled with cream and raspberry jam. It will be a glorious night, said the mayor. Yeah, okay, so they all chanted and unleashed a hellish demon from below. Good job. Blaskovich, can you lift the beam? I think... Found this in the boathouse. You take it, my friend. I will be fine. Oh, no, you won't. You're definitely gonna die. Shit, does that have to happen? I mean, I think it does. I, crap. I killed the, the zombie that was pretty near them, but as soon as I get over here, it's like they've already been attacked. Or like there was like the zombie that I killed didn't die or something. Meaning I, I think the whole thing is kind of scripted to happen. So sorry, Annette. It wasn't supposed to end this way. Well, that sucks. I'll read that in a second. Note from Herr Oberman, Martha. You will have to come in twice a day now. It's the troops. They come here from that unchristian graveyard excavation and clog up the drains with mud and filth. And they behave like pigs spilling beer and dropping cigarettes in the pools. I know these soldiers are fighting for the fatherland, but do they have to use my curtains to blow their noses? I will of course double your rest of sentences smudged with blood and unreadable. What is it? Kid, we had a monster in our basement. My father said if I'd done wrong, it'd creep out at night and come for me. I tried to do no wrong. 
the monster came all the same. Am I getting in that thing? Everything Glasgow it says is just sad. Okay, here we go. Am I gonna mow down hundreds of zombies with this thing? Head for the church ruins. Helga's gotta be there. Whatever she's doing, it's bad, and you gotta stop it. Then snatch the goddamn folder. Only one more hill, Billy Boy. Only one more. Hill, Billy Boy. Hill, Billy Boy. So this is the lot of roboter. I'm just gonna call it the robot. Oh, it doesn't have any guns, does it? Hold on, what can this thing do? <laughs> okay, right hand, swing with the right hand, or swing with the left hand. Yeah, this thing's for digging, right? So that's why, of course, it doesn't have any actual weapons. So these are for scooping out dirt. I could probably just run them over. Oh, no. Never mind. Uh... Do you have to get out? How, how do I... Huh. And if you press them both, you do a ground slam. Okay. Is that all I needed that thing for? I guess I gotta open the way on, on foot? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I need to shoot these things, don't I? They're just gonna keep coming, right? Okay. Hold on, we got some lore. Uh, Helmut's letter. My dearest daughter, Julia, I am writing this letter hoping to deliver it myself. I fear that will not be the case. That morning, all those months ago, it was so difficult to part from you. I hope you understand this. Forgive me, but my obligation to fight for the fatherland compels me. I am locked inside a house. I have barricaded myself from the monsters walking around outside. I have food to last me for a couple of days. And maybe, if God wills it, I will survive. But I think not. Eberhardt used dynamite to open a stone door. It was a disaster. 
One of our men, Fritz, was hit by debris falling from the cave ceiling. Then something began leaking out of the opening, some kind of gas. Fritz died later that night from his head wound. I was with him at the time. When I left, I heard a strange, awful shrieking, and the medic who was taking care of him started screaming. I ran back over there and I saw him, Fritz. He was standing up again. He had been dead just seconds ago, I assure you, my daughter. He was moving strangely, shambling toward the medic, swiping at it with hands formed like claws. The poor man tried to defend himself, but the dead thing tore his throat out. I know this sounds horrible, but I need to write it down. You are old enough now to handle it. I managed to escape with a few of the others. One of the scientists from the expedition told me that the green gas was some kind of biochemical agent. It infects the brain of recently dead, causes them to be trapped in a dead-alive state only focused on death and destruction. He rambled on about using this gas in war, but I stopped listening at that point. He was killed a few hours later. I miss you, my beloved daughter. I will do my best to stay alive, but I want you to know that if I do not live to see you graduate from the League of German Girls, know that I will forever be with you in your heart. Your loving father, Helmut. Okay, so that's what happened. Eberhardt used dynamite to open a stone door. It was a disaster. So that's what caused the earthquake. They tried to blow something up. Oh, it makes nice noises when you turn. Oh, I need a key. Okay, where can we go from here? Up here. Oh, that was easy. I'm here, Kessler. What's your status? Status is airborne. I took over at Zeppelin, flying into Berlin to spread the flyers. You're crazy as a loon, Kessler. Blaskowitz says, heartfelt, as they mow down a bunch of zombies with a machine gun. Oh, wow. I don't know how much health I had or how much damage they do, but damn. Let's, uh, keep it moving. Yeah, let's move faster. Hold on, I can uh, mount this thing. 
Then we'll refill it. Oh, I also discovered with this weapon that if you hold down right click, it keeps the barrel spinning so that you can shoot instantly. Otherwise, if you let the barrel stop and you hold down left click, you have to wait for it to spin up for maybe half a second or so until it starts firing. Climb it with a robot? I can do that. Oh, I thought the robot itself was going to climb it. I see. Going into the graveyard. The dig site. I'm really liking the old blood so far. I mean, it's definitely silly, right? Like, this is ridiculous Nazi zombies. <laughs> but they're nailing that B movie kind of aesthetic and everything. Like, this is just. The look of this graveyard is silly, but also perfect. It's got that spooky greenish glow to it. Ah, oh, it's perfect. Alright, well, I think I'll end the episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.